Hey, what's up guys? It's AFK Denver. How are you guys doing today? And today I have for y'all another absolute banger of story. Today's story is going to be about the time that I have been fiending the most. And yeah, I know guys, kind of a random story. But if y'all want to hear more daily story time videos, come on, consider it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get into today's video. So yeah. Like I said, today's video is going to be about the time that I have been fiending the most. And yeah, this story took place back in ninth grade, guys. And it was a Friday afternoon back in ninth grade. And everybody knows on Friday afternoons, when you first get into high school, the only thing on your mind is that football game. And yeah, we were all prepared to go to that football game. For those of y'all who don't know, my ninth grade class where I live is a completely different school than the rest of the high school. So we would have to bus over to the regular high school. And then from there, we would just dispute and go home. So, yeah. On this day, I had it planned. I was going to ride the bus to the main high school. And then right down the road, there was this little ice cream shop. And I was going to go over to this ice cream shop. I was going to go hang out with one of my friends. And we were just going to go from there, kill some time, wait for that football game. So yeah, that's what went on, guys. We get off the bus at the high school, and then we start walking towards the ice cream shop. And then while we're walking towards the ice cream shop, he pulls out this little jewel. And I remember it had a brand new mint pot in it, guys. And for those of y'all who just don't understand, because y'all just weren't around whenever this shit was popping, guys mint jewel pods was like heaven back then guys it was amazing we were vibing we were chilling we had our jewel and then we're ripping it on the way to the ice cream shop and it dies now you see one problem about this is it wasn't his it was his girlfriend's she was letting him use it till the football game that night and she was not about to be happy if it was dead and we were not about to be happy if it was dead until we got to the football game. So, you know, me, I had to come up with smart ideas. I had to think on the spot, guys. I'm like, okay, how are we going to get this thing charged? I finally figure it out. I have a charger block in my backpack for my phone. And I take it, and I'm like, okay, now we just need an Android charger. We'll cut the thing up. We'll use the positive wire and the negative wire we'll charge this thing up we'll be chilling for the rest of the night so now we have to figure out how two broke ninth graders are gonna go buy a charger to make it into a cut up jewel charger guys we are gonna charge this jewel we are gonna get back to the football game and we are gonna buy it. so yes we start making our journey around the entire town and my brain was thinking fast this day guys i was like okay we're going to the dollar tree we're broke we don't got no money that'll cost us a solid dollar if we can find some scissors up there it'll be two dollars and it will just be a breeze we can cut that hole open and we can use them two wires and we can charge this thing so yes guys that is what we do we start walking over towards the dollar tree and mind you, this is like a solid mile or two away from the high school. So it's a little bit of a journey. We are walking. We have to pass by this theater. We have to pass by all these random grocery stores. Cutting through an auto zone parking lot. Run across four lanes of traffic. Guys, it, it, it was dedication. But we finally, we finally get to the Dollar Tree, guys. And at this Dollar Tree... I walk up in there and I'm just like, do y'all have Android chargers? This lady points out an Android charger, probably like five feet from me. And I'm like, bet. And then when I go over to the checkout thing, I see like this beauty and care kit thing, guys. Y'all know what it had in it? It had them little ass scissors. You know what them little ass scissors are perfect for? Cutting up some damn wires. So, you know, I slapped the charger on the counter I slap the little beauty kit on the counter guys I now have ear swabs too if my ears start bleeding at the game I can take care of that but no we go outside and then there was a building right beside us random building and had no business at it at all and we start looking for a wall outlet because like I said 
We're two little ninth graders sitting over here with a cut up charger and a jewel trying to charge this thing. And luckily I get behind the building and by the AC unit there's these two perfect, perfect outside wall outlets. And guys, we set the jewel down on this AC unit and I plug it into the wall. We start charging it and it starts charging. We start doing a little fucking happy dance because we were little nicotine fiends. And we finally got this thing charged. After that, we had to walk all the way back across town, back to like the ice cream shop. Then my mom picked me up. We went and got some Taco Bell. We went to a football game. And we vibed all night. Guys, it was honestly kind of one of the greatest experiences of my entire high school time trying to go to football games. I had so many great adventures back in ninth grade. And if y'all want to hear about more of those, start now by hitting that subscribe button. Guys, check out the new merch. Until the next video, I'll see y'all guys later. I hope y'all guys enjoyed. Bye.